started with an unfortunate milking. Colin Mockery is used to being the center of attention. When the improv show, Whose Line Is It Anyway, made its way to Hollywood, Mockery became one of its stars. Anyone else want their clams shucked? <laughs> and when he returned home to Canada, he became a go-to guy for comedy. Sire, your arms fell off. Sire, your arms fell off. But earlier this year, he turned the spotlight towards his child with one simple tweet. My 90-year-old mother-in-law and 87-year-old mother's love and acceptance of our trans daughter warms me. Wonder why some who are younger can't. The reaction has been overwhelming. The tweet has received more than 17,000 likes. And open up an avenue of dialogue for his daughter, Kinley. She revealed herself as transgender to her parents last April. Now that her transition is public, she's spreading a message of support to others dealing with gender identity questions. I sat down with both Kinley and Colin Mockery earlier in Toronto. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Nice too. to meet you. Pleasure. Yeah, you're kind of familiar. Oh, thank you, I get around. <laughs> so how did this begin? Well, I wasn't I, actually <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that far back the conversation. Well, um, I had come out to my mom. My dad was out of town. And um, it was uh, a lot of conversations, getting all the information, making sure we were on even playing field. It took some time, but I knew that support and acceptance was on the other side. I was not worried for a second. So what was it like when the first time you got back and you saw Kinley? It was, uh, for me, it was great because, uh, you know, I was out of town. And you go through this thing, oh, well, now my child has changed genders. Does that does that mean that previous child is now gone? Uh, but then once Kinley came through the door, I went, oh, yeah, it's my kid. It's the exact same kid, uh, as I say, with a different coat on. So it's just been, um, like anything, when a new situation arises, just educating yourself about it and keeping the lines of communication open. So if you've been educating him about uh, all the, the pronouns and the right v vocabulary, because it's all, like, changing. People are learning things. There's so much information, and it's a lot of information that most of us don't get like we we talk you know there have been conversations about like sort of generational differences in terms of information but the truth is like our generation didn't get a lot of great information either like a lot of it had to be learned like I certainly had you know years ago like very little understanding of what it really what being trans really meant uh, there was a lot there's a lot big learning curve there how has the adjustment been for you do you ever slip up and Say a oh, bad word. Uh, it's in the early days. There, there was uh, um, slip-ups with gender and uh, name because I had 26 years of this person, and then had to uh, switch. But I think it's much better now. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, uh, and it's at the point now where I'm not thinking about it. It's just naturally. It's Kinley. It's her. It's she. Um, so it's been a while, I think, since I have uh, uh, slipped. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all learning. <laughs> so your dad, you'd been public with your friends and close people, but then you sent out a tweet. What, what was that like, the whole world sort of realizing? It, it didn't, it was unexpected, I think. Like the, the amount of, but I mean, I get, now looking back at it, what did I really expect? Well, like you were putting it out on a public forum, like people follow, like a lot of people yeah. follow you. I think we were both idiotic in a way uh, because, <laughs> you know, on our Facebook pages, uh, you know, it certainly was always out there, all our friends knew. And so when I, I was gonna put this tweet out, I asked Kinley, are you all right with this? Mm -hmm. So I, I suppose part of me knew there was that chance of exploring, but I, I didn't really think of the, the full ramifications. I just thought, I'm just putting this positive thing out there. Lots of support, but also there were, you were angry that some people couldn't adjust. Yeah, there are some, uh, you know, I, I always, every, whenever I go onto a, any kind of a site, my thing always is, don't look at the comments. But then you start looking at them and you go, <laughs> And that's, um, and a lot of the negative comments, I would say, were mostly through ignorance. There were a few hateful troll things where you just go, well, there's nothing I can say to these people. They're, you know, all of their uh, profile pictures are like skulls with knives through them or something. Uh, but the ones that I felt were coming from a place, of, a place of ignorance, I would try to say, you know, educate yourself about this. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, it's just something alien to you. But 
learn about it and maybe have some empathy towards what this person and th thousands of people around the world are going through. A lot of people in the last few years are like focusing on this maybe for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, is it easier? It must be easier now than it would have been for somebody a generation before you. There's now a reference point. Like in culture, like there, there are so many iconic figures, obviously Caitlyn Jenner, uh, Laverne Cox. There are people we can point to now. So I don't know where the shift happened, but transgender people just became part of like the big like cultural conversation. So in that aspect, in terms of having a reference point, I still think there's um, a long way to go in terms of looking at the way violence is done towards trans people and uh, a lot of uh, inequities and things like that. But certainly there, there is a sh shift happening and I'm, I'm thankful for that. I'm thinking it's sort of like improv technique where you you're supportive. It's it is. I, I, I think that actually did come into it a bit. There was this thing in improv, it's called uh, Yes And. It's the basis of all improv where you accept whatever someone has given you and you build on that. And I think that uh, Deb, uh, my wife and I, have actually talked the last couple of years of using that more in our, our life, saying yes to more thing, things that may have made us, uh, I don't know, uh, uncomfortable or, w or worried about. Um, and we've started saying yes within limits. And it's taken us to these uh, amazing places and met uh, amazing people. So um, I, I do think improv actually did help with this. Hmm. So here we are in, now in the age of, of Trump. Um, there's been all of this progress um, for, for people, you know, trying to be themselves. Mm -hmm. um, are, you, are you nervous that there'll be ground lost? <sighs> I mean, I'm nervous. Yeah, of course I'm nervous. Um, in terms of ground being lost, I mean, yes. But I, I think, w I feel like we're at a point now where we are ready to fight. I think we're just ready to, by ha having those voices be heard and, and not just like take it anymore. We have come so far. I mean, it's been however many years since Stonewall. And that was, he, that was like the biggest, that was the biggest turning point. So I think there's also more support now than there ever has been. Mm -hmm. uh, and there certainly can be a, a lot more, but I, I don't think it's a fight that you will do by yourself. I think you have many allies to sort of help. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous for her though in the, in the age of Trump? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, you're nervous for your child anyway, but uh, when this journey happens, you, <laughs> the, journey. <laughs> the journey, it's become our word, um, there, there, there is more uh, fear. I mean, our, the very first thing I think when Kinley told us was, God, let her be safe, uh, because there are people out there who aren't as enlightened as uh, others. Um, there's always going to be worry, but I, you know, um, and probably a little more because of the uh, transition, but uh, it's that comfortable worry, I guess, that we have, that we have to get through life with. As parents. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks so much for sharing this with me. Thank, Thank you. you.